You're listening to Life and Shit. I'm Danielle Walker. And I'm Tommy Walker. Join us as we talk about our journey overcoming fears, boundaries, marriage, family, lifestyle, business, and whatever other shit you can think of. We're individuals that came together to create one unit with one mind and one goal. What's up, baby? What's up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the polo mic out your pocket. Yeah, yeah, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> is this thing on the Where is this thing? <laughs> Where's my mic at? <laughs> they done, they done re- uh, revoked your mic privileges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. How are you? Outstanding. Outstanding. Good, today good. was a good day. Yes, today yeah. was a good day. Yeah, today it was, was. a runaround day. It was a yeah. make you pull up your sleeves nah. kind of day. Okay, yeah, okay. Oh, Okay. Got a question for you. All right. Is wedding planning stressful job? Is wedding planning a stressful job? Is wedding planning, yes, stressful as hell. Wedding planning is a stressful job, and planning a wedding is stressful as hell. Mm. Yes. And I agree with you. I agree with you. It is stressful. Mm -hmm. That's why I had no participation in planning (laughs) either three of our weddings. (laughs) Uh, You did. You picked the color because I was like back and forth on the colors. Um, for both, I want to say, yeah. 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 Well, the first one I had like a, it has to be this color. And the second one I was like, ah, yeah, let's do something different. That, that color looks cool. Okay. So you did, you did do that. Um, and then the location. So yeah, it, you had minimal help but, very small part but you did help a little bit and i yeah, do appreciate very that small part. and we got married three times right yes uh, you know, technically speaking <laughs> so for those that danielle and i have been together uh, for 17 years yes. i've known this beautiful woman for 20 years oh, thank and you, we've been married for a little over 14, 14 years. years so yeah. we're we coming around that 15 year mm-hmm. mark right we're gonna um, party we're gonna celebrate yeah we go like goddamn like it's 1999 yes we are we made it we made it it. (laughs) after this point it's like shit like everybody else fuck out of (laughs) here but uh but the first time we got married wasn't much planning (laughs) like we just went to the courthouse your mother showed up she was a witness Mm -hmm. and um you know the county people that get their government paychecks married us and we mm-hmm. was official but it was more than i thought it was going to be i thought we were going to show up and they'd be like hey you like they're they're like do you you do you do okay go you know but no they they did it pretty proper they gave us flowers and it was a package yeah i was like oh okay you are you <laughs> we paid for it there was a separate package is that what you're trying to say i don't know if it was a package <laughs> you paid for it so i don't know if it was package a b or c but ah, you're so funny. I didn't. <laughs> I don't know if there was a difference. I just was like, okay, let's do this. Yeah, that's exactly how we're there. I was like, what time? I'm and sure. I showed up, and it was dope. It was dope. It was a great. It was a great day. Mm-hmm. And that was August 6 thousand and eight. Yes. And then September six, six. two thousand and eight <laughs> <laughs> is when we had the ceremony. And now, when it comes to wedding planning, and this is what this show is about, is about wedding planning. Mm-hmm. So for those that are planning a wedding, thinking about planning a wedding. If you got a wedding plan in your eye in your head right now, mm-hmm. you know, take notes uh, because it's not going to be anything like how you think it is. <laughs> because in 2008, mm-hmm. you know, Danielle had to plan a wedding from California that was going to be in New York. Yes. Now, there's other people that plan weddings to be in, you know, destination weddings, mm-hmm. right? The Caribbean, European, yes. Yes. all kinds of shit, right? Mm-hmm. For us, fortunately... You had my mother. Yeah, shout you know, out to Mom Dukes. Love shout you. out to, to my mom Dukes who, who was on the ground, like running around doing her thing. Most but death. but I mean you put work in. Mm-hmm. Even to where yes. like my only I was like, all right, it, it went from a rooftop <laughs> wedding, like we were trying to be like rooftop skyscraper well, wedding. Well location is everything, right? So that's like one of the first things of uh planning a wedding. It's like, okay, where do I want my wedding? I could have had it here in San Diego mm-hmm. or anywhere, right? So to me, having it in New York was a way to get my family out of San Diego. They'd never been to New York, so I'm like, let's do this, guys, let's go. Um, so that was a different experience. Now it's like, oh shit, it's New York like where in New York do you want this um New York is famous for rooftop weddings so I'm like oh with the skyline that would be awesome right but then they have the I mean it's 
is it the Hudson River? Is the it Hudson just River, the, yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, I don't know. You don't hear a lot of good things about it, but that's an option. No, the Hudson um, River is cool. It ain't Jamaica Bay. Now, oh, now, if, okay. if, if, if if Jamaica Bay was on the menu, I'd have been like, hell no. <laughs> See, I don't know where Jamaica Bay is from. <laughs> and then there's the Central Park wedding, you know, which mm-hmm. is like super uh, fancy, romantic, or it could be ever. So that it's, there's all kinds, so many options. Very so true. many options. So, and, and the cool thing is like, I'm... Now, I could have been like, all right, let's do a Bayswater Park wedding. And for everybody that lives in Far Rockaway, know exactly mm-hmm. what I'm talking about. They're like, <laughs> hey, this dude would have did a, a, a wedding in Bayswater oh, Park. That's that funny. Or it could have been, you know, like Lincoln Park and Southside. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of different things that we could have done that would have been so what, what, a what, quarter that? of the price. <laughs> <laughs> They have a reception area and all that? or Hell no. This oh is New York boy. City Parks. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like mm-hmm. it's like you, you, you said New York City is known for their you know rooftop and all this. Then I'm like, or we could have just did a very neighborhood-like wedding. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that would have cost us you know, a fraction. Yeah, so location was first. Colors, location, right? All super like, okay, now. And then... You were super cool with it, so but you know, of course, there's some things you'd have been like, "Oh no, not this," or money wise, right? It's like, "Oh well, if we get married in the park, it's this price, but we get married on a rooftop, it's this price, right?" Yeah. So just the different options and going through the different prices and the different layouts, and then what all comes together, and then what you have to get, like kind of uh, like a a la carte type deal. So it's like, okay, you can get the wedding package, but all this is extra, and it's like, wait, what? So that's all overwhelming and, and like crazy right and then it's like okay and now the guests or like who's coming and then how big is your guest list right because yeah. both of our weddings were 50 people no no the second one was 75 the first one was 50 the second one was 75 okay and 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 that's because we was like all right we got more people we know more people you know this is what it is but the thing is, like when you said the guest list and you talk about, you know, all my biggest thing was show up to the fucking wedding. Uh. <laughs> if, if I'm like, like people don't like if you've never been to a wedding before and you get invited to a wedding, show up to the fucking wedding because people pay for it. OMG. They pay like OMG. what you normally pay Mm-mm. for a meal at a restaurant Mm-mm. may cost Mm-mm. you $20. Mr. Walker was like, listen. For everyone who doesn't come to our wedding, can we please put in the invitation that they have to pay us you the price? Me. Now I, t- <laughs> I tell you that the the, <laughs> the New York wedding was on a boat, right? It was seventy five dollars per person per plate, and back in those days, y'all, we were we were really 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 struggling. I don't know. To this day, I'm still kind of perplexed on how we made that happen it's just like we put our we just said it was going to happen as just kind of the way especially i was and still am is we, yeah we buckled down mm-hmm. now 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 speaking of that i mean we talked about make sure you show up because plates cost money if you show up or not but for those that don't have um you know financial backing people that don't come from means uh it is hard getting fucking married. You know what mm-hmm. I mean, and and that, and that was us. Like mm-hmm. like like we everything that we have, nobody gave us. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. Like mm-hmm. we built everything. No one came in and said, "Hey, you're my daughter," so I'll just exactly. take care. Exactly. There was there was no <laughs> gifts. Like yo, let me help you out with this. Let me right. let me drop five thousand on this. Right. Whatever the case may be. Right. Like everything that we've ever done has always been self funded, and of course we go into debt. So you talk about that first wedding. We <laughs> went into a significant amount of debt. And and I'm I'm glad we didn't have a wedding planner because we couldn't even afford that. But that wedding, so that wedding, you know, cost upwards around anywhere between 10, like 10, 15, 15 grand. 15, yeah. yeah. So we maxed out credit cards. I mean, I was hustling. I was I was doing real estate. Mortgages. I was doing mortgages. I was doing all kinds of shit. Mm-hmm. So I was hustling, trying to put put my ends in. You were working two two three jobs, mm-hmm. putting your ends in, mm-hmm. and and that's how it came to fruition. Yeah. And then and then those that are close to us, right? Mm-hmm. You know. They they picked up the details. It yes. was like it was like like my mother put in uh, the decorations, right? Yeah. Like that was huge. A friend for, of a friend did the flowers of your friend, like of your exactly. mother's friends. Which like is, she, she, rest mom, in peace to yeah. Shelly. Like yep. Shelly, yeah, yep. Shelly was the one that put the flowers together. Yep. My neighbor from from growing up as a kid, yep. you know. So it was yep. it was those small things of just love that yes. people came together to help yes. us out with that. Yes, yes, planning. yes. Yeah, that 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 made it uh, super special, um, but. Yeah, it was expensive. Um, it was fun um, getting everybody there, making sure everybody showed up. Um, it was on a boat 
So if you plan for your wedding to be on a boat, remember that boat leaves. The boat leaves. On time. Okay. There's there there there's another uh, wedding or something that's coming on after, right? So the way it works is it, the boat is leaving. So that was the stressful thing. It's like, ah, where is everybody? So remember, if you do something on a boat <laughs> or anything that leaves, <laughs> be aware. Um, and getting married in 2018 was totally different than it was in 2008. Um, well, let's let's talk about this. Did we do bachelorette parties and bachelor parties the first time? Yeah. Oh yeah, you did. You had a, a wild Mexican night, a uh, Mexico night, um, with probably some crazy Mexican girls. I remember because you came in kind of smelly. It's six o'clock in the morning. Yes. Yeah. 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 And very like. Shout out to shout out to <laughs> putting them on blast. Shout Jay out to Jay Johnson, Johnson Rodney Shepard, uh, uh, all my guys from <laughs> uh, Big Daryl, Daryl, uh, Big D. Uh, no, Big Al. Big Al. Yeah, Big, Big Al. Al. Yeah, because yeah. 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 he's the one that orchestrated. <laughs> nah, we gotta take Tommy out. I was like, <laughs> what kind of bachelor party is this? So I was like, yeah. Tommy came in. I, I want to say they like knocked on the door. True, like what is that? It's like an old school movie. They knocked at the door and left you standing there. And I opened the door and you fell in. And it's like, are you serious right now? That's happened a couple of times. But mm-hmm. yeah, totally and you were just there. like incoherent, just kind of like walking around. And um, I took your clothes off, and they smelled like cigarette smoke and disgusting and bad decisions <laughs> and then i had my bachelor party in vegas um and i came back smelling like roses <laughs> <laughs> the way you even said it you sound like a goddamn hormone monster from from big mouth you, like really? roses. you need to open your mouth that has nothing to do with wedding planning <laughs> Well, you have to plan the um, the bachelor and bachelorette parties as well because then and the reason I bring it up is because okay. when we started bringing up the 2018, when we initially started bringing up the planning, you're like, oh, I'm having a bachelor party and I'm going to Costa Rica or you're going somewhere, yeah, and I was like, yeah, I was okay, to get out of Dodge. nope, me and my girls gonna go to Jamaica then, and you're like, wait, what? I don't know if I want to do separate. No, I I didn't cop. I didn't cop oh. out. I did not cop what? out. What? No, You're the only reason we changed. Out. We're the only reason that we changed our plans and made it a co one. Babe, we should do it together. That's uh, that was no. <laughs> You were very persuasive in saying, no, well, I planned it on being like this. And I was like, all right, you're right. Let's do it that way. Ooh, we gonna yeah. leave that one there. Yeah, because I was ready to get out of Dodge. Mm-hmm. But yes, I didn't. I was like, fuck that. We don't need right, to do y'all. it. We got five more years <laughs> in now. Here's the thing about Tommy and I. We get, <laughs> we get married every 10 years. So we got five more years to do another one. 20 years. Another one. And uh, uh, yeah, ladies, look out. We are getting out of Dodge. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> All I can do is smile. I, I, I didn't even go say nothing. I just smile. And then 2018, um, how do we decide on San Diego? Did we just say it was no, like, that it was, was a plan. given? Yeah, yeah. yeah it, was, it was like, all right, you did. Because, I mean, you being selfless as you are, you was like, all right, the Flash first you. wedding, let's do it on the East Coast. That's where your family is. Because you could have been the, the, the monster bride, right? Mm-hmm. You could have been like, no, I want to do it on the West Coast. I want to do it this way. And, and, and granted, People always say, oh, the weddings are for women and mm-hmm. it's all about the women and it's mm-hmm. all, it's, it's the, or the wife or the, the other, it's whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. Fuck all that. Yeah. It's a two, two people are involved right. and I don't give a shit what you look like. Mm-hmm. If you're male or female, there's two people mm-hmm. and you were selfless to say, all right, let's do it like this. And like you said, because it gets my family out of town yeah. and it becomes a destination. And then it was mm-hmm. like, all right, that's dope. Obviously. The second time around, we need to do it on the West Coast. Makes sense. So now that your family could be a part. Mm-hmm. And that's and, and I'm granted, I'm glad we made it that far so that they could be a part. This is true. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is true. And you know, I figure you live with me on this side, you know what I mean? So we that can too. go over there and, and, and kind of you know showcase and party and have a good time with them and then you're back with me the rest of the time. So, you know, it's kind so, of sharing you. So 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 when it came to planning, all right, like I I proposed in February of two thousand and five. Seven? Oh, hmm. okay. Right? No, I thought we said it was seven. You're right. Mm-hmm. Two thousand seven. February two thousand seven is when I proposed, mm-hmm. and we got married in September. The ceremony was September two thousand and eight. Mm-hmm. So that's a, a a little over a year and a half, or about a year and a half. 
wedding planning started from the day I proposed. Mm -hmm. Right. Most definitely. And, and it was like hit the ground running from there. It's like, let's look, let's see where here, there, all those, all those things, the colors, the sizes, the decoration. Yeah. And 40% mm -hmm. of people will say wedding planning is stressful. 71% mm -hmm. of people said the shit is like finding a new job. Oh, like shit. that's just crazy to me. Right. That's even worse. Now, now grant now again, <laughs> I didn't have a lot to deal with it. You kind of ran mm -hmm. some things past me. He's like, what do you think about this? I'm like, oh, all right, that's cool. Now, I'm going to tell you this. If if you're not planning the wedding, do not be fucking like, oh, I don't give a shit. Do whatever you want. Ooh, because you're going to be so pissed. And you, like, you're gonna, <laughs> Why did you do this? And then you're going to start pointing fingers. Well, motherfucker, if you actually engaged and participated. Right? Right? Yeah. And, and I'm saying this as if you don't have a wedding planner. Oh, right? if, man. Like if you don't have a dialed in wedding mm -hmm. planner that you hired mm -hmm. and your spouse is doing all the planning, then participate some part so mm -hmm. that you could be okay with it. That is so true. You know like, even I mean? if you have a wedding planner, like it's still, still have yeah, some say, you know, because otherwise it will be like none of your say. It'll be like, <laughs> what the hell happened here? <laughs> right? <of> <laughs> it's my wedding, right? Like uh, you share, share. Because, because in 2018, Mm -hmm. We actually hired a wedding planner. We did. Because initially, I didn't want you to go through all that yeah, shit again. Initially, I did it all on my own. And then I was like, uh, okay, this is, it's a lot. Um, let's bring some help in. And I sat with, um, I, I can't remember her name. Lord, forgive me. Erica. Was it Erica? The wedding planner. Okay. Yeah. Erica. And she was amazing. I want to say it was Lauren. I was like, maybe it was uh, the no, other. Uh, Erica Ryberg. I oh, remember. Okay. Go ahead. Tell me. Um, but Erica was amazing. So I remember that. Uh, we sat down with her and she was like, all right, girl, this is what we're going to do. You, she's like, let, let me know what you want. And I told her my wish list and she's like, I'm going to make it happen. So she made every single thing on my wish list um, come to be. Um, shout out to. Um, uh, Paradise Point Hotel as well because they did upgrades. Damn, you you doing plugs? Oh, I ain't even getting paid. Ah, ain't so no, ain't no well, sponsors, they, they upgraded our um yes, our, uh, our our um, package. Yes, so we had the wooden um, dance floor. They upgraded us to the marble one. Um, so it's just I mean it's us. the little things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why they got the they paid for it in advance. They know they knew that with someone we would talk about it, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. Uh, Paradise oh, Point Cove did a, did a great job. Our next our next wedding, we may have sponsors. We're gonna be like, hey. So in the grab bag behind you yeah, yeah. <laughs> is is Diddy's uh, newest tequila, <laughs> Jay Z's cognac, uh, six one nine. <laughs> oh, facts. Shout six out to one Nick. nine. Yeah. Six one nine vodka. Yeah. <laughs> we have a dispo. We have, oh, we got people we actually mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm, yeah, yep, that's yep. a thousand percent. That's so nice. We got a swag bag. So it's like, hey, this person sponsored. We ain't paying for our next wedding. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's gonna be sponsored. <laughs> but you know what? They, you know, they, Erica did do a good good job because. Because as a groom, I didn't, you know, again, I was talking about participating and having mm -hmm. ideas. <laughs> and I yeah, I was like, yo, I'm just here. Have a good time. Uh, yeah, this color. Taste that food. The food tasting was fun and all that. But, then, but then all of a sudden, I just got this idea. I was like, yo, I, I want to do something cool. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. Yeah, I was, like, I was like, let's do something cool. And I told Erica <laughs> the idea. And she was like, are you serious? I was like, hell yeah. And. And I, I didn't know we was going to record it. I ain't nothing. I just wanted to do it, and then it'd be a thing. Now, like, every year, I post that video. Like, every year, like, that's my thing. She was like, I never, ever had a groom wax for anything. Ever. No. Ever. And she was like, I'm going to make this happen. And uh, she did. Other than when she was telling us about the family, it was a, a family from India, and they had, like, it was like a seven-day ceremony. So that was the, not not the um, wedding planner, but that that's who I was confusing with. It was... Um, at uh, the hotel, that was the person who had us that set us up the day of, or mm -hmm. like like we set everything up. That she was telling us that at the hotel, um, that their their weddings are seven whole days. So that's super exhausting. Can you imagine that? That's a hell that's, of a party. That's a hell of planning too, right? It's like okay, so the first day they do this, and I was like, whoa! And it's it's there's a lot of money involved. Seven days is a lot of money, and they do not hold any expenses. That's a thousand percent. They like transform the whole entire place. Brought so, in elephants and all kinds of yes. shit. Yes, <laughs> that's amazing. But yeah, hey, that's dope. I I didn't go that far. <laughs> but but we gonna take this moment to to. to Hopefully, like, like, hopefully, our engineer could could put in the video. Like, like, I would like to do a two minute pause so you can see it. But we're not. We're gonna let our engineer do his thing and see if he could clip in and do whatever he case. But it was pretty fucking dope. Yeah. And and I, and I and I'm glad she was able to make it a part of what we did. But 
man, shout out to my dudes who was with me. You know, your brother was there. My yeah. man Dari was there. My man mm-hmm. Miles was there. Mm-hmm. Like it was, it was, it was pretty fucking uh, yeah. off the chain. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And, yes. and and everybody was down. They was they was all down with the mm-hmm. cause. I wore the same wedding dress that I wore ten years ten ago. Ten years ago, um, and I I got it taken in. Um, so I love that, and I still have it because I plan on uh, maybe not taking it in too much more the next time. I don't want to be too scanty. But <laughs> so part of planning, right? So uh-huh. you 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 designed your dress yes right so, so not only did you plan the wedding but you, then you also designed I your did. own dress your own dress and then wore kept that dress wore the same dress yes. 10 years later right. redesigned it because it wasn't it. even the same yeah, dress it wasn't I, I actually had some um some uh sleeves put on it or not even sleeves what do you call it? like a little, little strap yeah a little strap placed and I went to the store, the same store was like a fabric store that I went to 10 years ago and to get the same things that I had placed around my belly, um, has straps and they had it. And I literally bought the last ones that they would ever make. They're like, Oh yeah, once we sell those, we're not buying anymore. And I was like, well, thank you. (laughs) 10 years later. (laughs) So yeah. And then, uh, the lady was able to make a nice little strap for me. That's dope. Because the first wedding, I had to keep on holding up ladies. You guys know, you got to keep on holding up the ladies. And um, the ladies were a lot bigger then <laughs> than <laughs> they were this last year. Yeah, 2008, they were, they were nice. <laughs> my, my, my. They were so nice. In 2008. <laughs> oh, 2018, well, they were still good. Everything else, <laughs> they're nice now, y'all, but they not like that. <laughs> So I had to keep on uh, pulling up the dress. And so I had the, the straps made so that it was nice and comfy. <laughs> you know, when it comes to wedding planning, you know, we talked about the stress of it. We talked about the planning starts at the time of proposal. We talked about how expensive it is. You talked about, you know, seating people. You know, hopefully your family don't have a beef because that's a big deal. Uh, you know, who you invite. Uh, for our second wedding, we decided to only invite the people that we knew within the last five years, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. It was, you know, it's it's a lot of thought. Like, so our first wedding was we inviting everybody and whoever shows up, dope. Then we narrow the list down so everybody gets on the boat on time. And uh, only one person didn't show up. That was that was it. I'm, I'm making I'm making fun of it, but it was literally That's only true. one person that didn't show That's up. True. And, I and, 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 I, and shout out to my man, Scott LaRock, if he's listening, because he knows who that one person was. <laughs> <laughs> and then the second wedding, uh, I think everybody showed up for the second wedding. Yeah. Yes. Uh, not all the, like we had a couple of guests not come, but other than that, it was fine. Yeah. People showed up late. Yeah. Um, but but putting people together. Right. That because because you want to create synergy. At mm-hmm. the different tables, and mm-hmm. you want to make sure it's a party, right? Oh, because yeah, at the end of the day, the wedding is not really for us. No, it's 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 for people to have a good time. It's a it's a ceremony. It's a showcase. Kind of back to the podcast that we did on ceremonies and rituals, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And and when you have different traditions, and you're trying to create tradition, and of course, us here in America, our tradition is have a wedding, get fucked up most of the, most of the time. You get, you know you get fucked up. You have mm-hmm. the the you, you have the ceremony, then you have the, the reception afterwards, right? right? You have a great time. And then, you know, that's it. Right. And then you go on a honeymoon. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of our tradition here. So so just think about, I would say, you know, my thing is put more focus in the after. You know, don't stress yourself out about the ceremony because our first wedding, it rained. Yeah. And, and people, you know, get upset about when it rains. but And then some say it's good luck. It's so funny. Just we were just at a wedding. You're, and, you're into. and uh we, we were at the wedding and exactly, I, they're like, oh, it's good luck. And then uh, one of the ladies said, hmm, not in my culture. In my <laughs> culture, if it rains in your family, your family going to be like, uh-uh, it's, it's ain't working. It ain't meant to be. Real shit. <laughs> That's real shit. I was like, oh shit. Everybody got their own perspective. Yes. Yeah, we went to a wedding. Oh, that's so we went to we've oh. been to so many weddings. Yeah. Like even we was telling a story about a wedding that we showed up a week early. Yeah. Right? Like out now when it comes to wedding planning, oh. RSVP, dates, all mm-hmm. that stuff, that's a very invitations, mm-hmm. like all that is a very big deal. Mm-hmm. So we was telling a story when we was out to dinner. And <laughs> and we showed up a week early to my man T Bone's wedding, and and we, we, we're there. We're like, there's no black people here. Yeah, this does not look this, like his yeah, people. This, this don't look like Mm-mm. a T Bone's wedding. Mm-mm. And and then so we calling him, and he was like, bro, like it's next weekend. Yeah, it's like fuck, like yeah. like we was stressing as if we was part of the yeah. like planning. Shout out T Bone. That was a dope ass wedding. Who was there? Rock Bays or I mean, I don't know. I want to say if somebody remember. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It was <laughs> oh fuck. I mean, it was pretty awesome. It was yeah. a pretty awesome wedding. We were like, oh shit. It was cool. Herc. Cool her. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <Robin. laughs> it was pretty dope. I was like, ah, but yeah. Um, since we're talking about weddings and things, um, I'm gonna. I would like to leave with my my final thought is, um, we are a team. Never forget that I love you. I wish I could turn back the clock so I could find you sooner and I could love you longer. If I could give you one thing, I would give you the ability to see yourself through my eyes. Only then would you realize how special you really are to me. I may not be your first date, your first kiss, your first love, but I want to be your last everything. I didn't give you the gift of life, but life gave me the gift of you. I love you. Damn. I love you, girl. That was, <laughs> I can't follow up with that. <laughs> that was ah, impressive. Life and shit? That is life and shit right there. We, we, we just go close on that. That was pretty fucking Cheers, dope. We, we cling to that. <laughs> this is life and shit. <laughs> Do us a favor. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe. Leave a review. Let us know what your thoughts are. That's the only way that this show is going to be successful. And we appreciate you. Talk with you next time.